Okay, I'm now live. Now let me quickly start up Animal Crossing. It's now started up. Whew. Okay. Why am I almost an hour late? Which is a lot closer to being on time than I've been in a while. Uh, mostly due to technical issues this time surprisingly it was not my capture card it was not uh obs uh it wasn't streamlabs obs um let me just make sure that the game's audio is coming through it, i mean it should be Uh, I mean, it takes a minute. This is actually in sync to what I'm saying, so the instant that I see audio, I'll see it. One beautiful aspect of my current... Okay, my game audio is coming through. Let me scroll all the way up to my microphone. Now, this is Animal Crossing, so I don't... I don't give a shit if I talk over this entire thing. This is not like a... This is not like Mass Effect. Now... I've done a lot of time traveling in this particular game, but... I have some stuff I actually want to do on cast, which is why we're starting out with Animal Crossing. And those things do not include that ghost, I'm afraid. I'm looking for a character. sell that. It's nothing special. I don't see that character. All right, I'm switching to my ladder. Now, my technical issue that I was facing was that Twitter didn't want to schedule my tweet. And then I went out on uh, Google to see if anyone else was having this problem. And it's, it appears that some people can't open their uh, Twitter app, but the website still works on the Chrome uh, web browser. And uh, on the other side of that, which is another uh, problem, is that some People can't schedule their tweets, so it's not it's not a problem connected to my computer, which I'm grateful for. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. here. Hey Nitro, I'm a little late due to uh, technical issues on par of uh, Twitter. It would not schedule my... Uh, it would not schedule my tweet and it's having that problem across the board and it's not just me. So it's it's good to know that my technical issue is not my fault. On my end, I was getting blasted by uh, my game's own audio. I occasionally play with the audio when I'm offline. That's much better. A 
okay, so it's not just me. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Twitter just might be having issues with their server. That's my thought process. Because in order to have scheduled tweets, they have to have somewhere to uh, store them. And if they're having problems with their server, there would be no way that that would work. Oh, I haven't been to a music concert in all oh, shit. Um, not, not a goddamn mosquito. Uh, in-game mosquito. Oh, I would have to say it was before I lived where I currently am when I used to live in Maryland. Um, oh crap. Uh, it's it's at least been a minimum of 10 going on 11 years since last time I went to a concert. It, it was even before. Yeah. See, pre-COVID, I went, damn, you're every month. Um, uh, last one, January, like, 2019, so it's been, uh, too long, uh, too long, funny enough. I looked back at the old videos and realized the last show and this show were at the same venue, seeing the same band. <laughs> Yeah, it, for me, oh god, I can't even remember. Um, because prior to where I currently live, I used to live in Maryland, and uh, I never really saw any huge bands. It was always small local bands. So, and uh, the music I would listen to now virtually all of them would be on some kind of classic rock station <sighs> you know that scene in saving private ryan where um brad pitt is transformed from a young man into an old man where it transitions from world war ii to like uh what was current era for when that movie came out and where it just kind of shows him getting rapidly old. Yeah. I just kind of feel like that right now. <laughs> he makes sense. I mean, you know, I'm a music junkie, so I like concerts. Or I like the, uh, I like the, uh. I go have fun and just go nuts. Oh yeah, I know that feel. Um, me personally, I would only go to like concerts or something if I was going with a group of friends. Um, primarily because I would, uh, most of the concerts I'd go to were in Baltimore. Uh, I didn't live in Baltimore, but that's where that's where the culture is, and unfortunately, that's also where the murder is as well. So, not the safest place to be in. And, uh, I, I didn't like going there alone. <laughs> that was just not a good idea. I, I really am glad I am no longer in that state anymore. Yeah, and after the shit show of last year, I needed that. Oh, oh, fuck, yeah. Last year, I'd argue it's still going on. 
Definitely a shit show. Hmm. This is either a rare fish or I'm being led astray. Shit. Alright, let me see if I can't recast very carefully. Uh, that? Alright, that might work. I got a reason to... I don't need a gar. That actually irritates me. Because when I was trying to go for a gar, it, it made it into a multi-day feature for like one fish. Alright. I guess the character I was hoping to spawn did not spawn. That is extremely annoying. All right, I'll show you why I wanted a character to spawn. Very least I know they're not like, at the very least I know they're not up here because I already looked. place I think that character could be is up on this second hill and if they're down here I'm gonna be somewhat annoyed all right I was looking for an owl for a very particular reason uh, okay, let me put that in alphabetical order so I can actually find shit Okay, I'm trying to get Robot Hero, and I have the recipe for the gold armor. I have 30 rusted parts in storage. I have more than enough iron in storage. And the only thing I need at this point is the gold nuggets, enough to make the armor, and enough to make the robot, and the rocket uh, recipe. That robot is hell to make. Oh yeah, and I have nearly everything. The only thing I really need in terms of uh, stuff that's like a pain in the ass to get is one recipe. I, I get that one recipe and then I make the stuff that I need to make that one recipe. You really wanna see something incredible? I finally completed this. All of these are also in the uh, museum. I think I made like a, a very bad mistake now or rather two now I accidentally sold my pirate eye patch I have not gotten the replacement for that but one thing I did get is the store eventually sold like a normal eye patch that I can buy in tandem so I was 
in um, in the shop itself. So I can replace the current one I'm wearing many times over, but it's not the pirate one. Uh, and the other mistake is I think, uh, but I'm not certain about this. I really should deposit my bills. Is I think I sold the recipe for the golden shovel. I think, I'm not 100% on that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I have almost 11 million bells. Uh. <laughs> I, I am definitely not poor in this game. So if someone were to be like, hey, I have that recipe, I'll give, I'll sell it to you for like a million bells, I'd be like, Sweet. Oh. Alright. I'm just going to sell my car. Now, I'm not going to go in the store because I don't care about the actual bells and losing bells off of it. Because, you know, you saw what I actually have. Oh, son of a bitch. Eh, this is bad. Uh, this is very bad. Let's hope I'm close enough. Bingo! I hate those fucking things. This is petty, but I don't care. I'm being petty. Hey, look! It can't get me. All right, that's pet. That's up. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> Pettiness. Super extreme pettiness. <laughs> All right, I'm now done. <laughs> uh. Now, the reason why I'm carrying these is. This is one of the few fish that I don't have in my uh, in my museum, and this is also a crab that I caught in the uh, in the lake, and I don't have that in the museum either. <laughs> uh. I'm going to donate them separately so I can actually read out what uh, Blathers has to say about it. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Mitten crab. Whew. Woohoo. This is undoubtedly a mitten crab. Now might I interest you in a few f fascinating facts about your mitten crab? Well, it's not going to be mine for very much longer. Yes, please. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The mint crab was named for its impossibly adorable fuzzy little pincers. These cute uh, crustaceans embark on a quite the journey. They're first born in brackish waters. Then they mature in fresh water. Finally, they travel to the ocean to create more mitten crabs. 
Who, how I delight in the thought of thousands of tiny mitten crabs scuttling about. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. No. Alright, that... Uh... That is the mitten crab. One more donation. I'm only doing this because I have like two donations to actually give. Ooh, why this is a king salmon. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your king salmon? Yes, please. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The king salmon gets its name for nothing. Uh, this stately f uh, fish can weigh in at up to 130 pounds. It's clearly why it's ref referred to as the king of salmon. I imagine even the mightiest net can catch no more than a few at a time. I must say it's a miracle to me that you didn't get dragged out to sea by this one. Woot. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. No. Rest sure all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Alright, there's one other thing I want to do. That... That's Scorpion. I played this game for multiple days. Oh wait, there are two things I want to do. Let me quickly grab this. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong scene. Oh no, I'm on the right scene. I didn't see the donation thing at the bottom. I have a separate scene for... Uh, uh, for recording stuff. This would be for Let's Plays and stuff like that. Uh, Alright. Put this in alphabetical order. I'm looking for something called Leaf Campfire. Alright. Uh, Alright, there it is. That scorpion, though, <sighs> did not give me a lot of room to maneuver right in front of the museum, too. All right. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I couldn't see because of that goddamn tree, otherwise I would have gotten it. A lot of scorpions are spawning and I don't know why. Nothing can spawn up here anyway, so I'm not... Alright, let me unequip this. This is not where I actually want it. But I don't want to pick it up and actually drop it again. this 
one title down now. All right, that's perfect. I'm kind of hoping that this ghost gives me... Some flooring I really want. It's that lava flooring thing. Oh. I was already equipped. Damn scorpion. need the third one. Okay. I still need to find... have no more use for catching scorpions because I already have multiple scorpions caught both inside and outside my house uh, in game um, I have the scorpion model and I have one donated to blathers so I really don't need to catch them they're just more of a nuisance at this point uh same for the spiders as well. Okay. I think that's my third one. Yeah, that's my third one. just unequip that in case I come across any more scorpions but my chance of of that happening are extremely low looking for this last spirit piece or ghost piece. Mm. Okay, nothing up there. Probably going to be all the way up here. Now, the good news about 
Mass Effect is that when I do make that switch over, I finally have the weapon that I actually wanted. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's just clay. And I can finally... Alright, there it is. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Since I'm finally live, I can also do something else I've been meaning to do. Uh, it's going to wait until after I deliver these. I do have to deliver. Here you go. I've never refused to give them back because I'm not quite that evil. Okay, well, so it's going to be uh, something expensive. Uh, something you don't have or something expensive. Um, I'm going to choose something I don't have. Uh, I'm gonna see if that's something that's that I can sell because Well, I'm sure I can sell it, but I want to make sure I can also rebuy it if need be I love having those bridges and not having to rely on the vaulting pole Now, here's the thing, is that the the undersea stuff, some of it's actually really neat. Uh, like, you have horseshoe crabs. Um, you have the nautilus. Uh, one other really neat thing you have. And you have these uh, spider crabs, which are essentially giant crabs. Uh, Nook no, shopping. Flooring. Alright, I can sell that. That's... It's fine then. Because I can replace that if I ever so choose. At this point, I've actually done so much. But before I do that, let me craft something I've been wanting to have. Let's craft... Let's craft. Go all the way up here. I really want to see if that's going to be something that's going to be on the ground or levitating or what have you. Okay, it levitates and it turns. Oh wow, that actually took up 10 of my rocks. Uh, you know what? 
I really don't use rocks anymore. But I am going to replace them very, very slowly. Do I have any rocks over here? Surprisingly, no. Alright, I'm gonna quickly deposit my asteroid into... ...into my house. Put in storage. I am going to not have a good day when I run out of storage. I kind of wish that they would give all the Animal Crossing players like a, a box or something with infinite storage and just keep everything in there. There's a lot I wish they would change about this game. Now, here's something I've been meaning to do for a long, long, long time. I'm going to be moving something. I have never liked where this is. This is going to be moving, moved somewhere else. And I know exactly where that somewhere else is. There's like a huge patch of land that is perfect for this. Okay. I'm changing the direction of where I am. Okay. Chest. Moving this so that I can move this. If I'm right, I should have just enough room. There's a reason why I didn't do this until now. I will do this the smart way. These two tr All right, I'm gonna have to do some remodeling. I'm gonna have to push. I'm gonna have to get rid of these three trees and these three trees. I'm gonna have to move them somewhere else. So I'm going to need a minimum of... You know what I could do? I could just... I could just sell the trees. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm going to need six things of fruit. Thank you. 
All right, I'm going to eat. The animation will take a while because I need that thing to be all the way up. I hate how I can't eat all of them as a group. Alright. Before I do this... Now switch over to this. One more tree to get rid of. This is really agonizing. I want to have enough room minimum to have a candle on either end. enough. I do need to move this one though. That should be just enough room. gets cut off when I try to look from, at it from afar. This is so annoying. I 
I'm trying to find a good balance. This should be it. This should be it. Perfect. Now I just need a candle at either end. Now there is a reason why I did that. It's because I could never see the entire... I could never see the entire fossil. Uh when it was right next to the museum, and that annoyed the living shit out of me. Because it's not like it's a three-piece uh, thing, it's like four pieces. And there's no way in hell I can get that thing to fit inside this house. Did I have candles? No, I did not. That's not a big deal. Let me get the uh, the iguanodon parts. Okay. Ah. I'm just hoping that this thing doesn't go off screen like it did for the uh, Brachiosaurus, but this is a much smaller dinosaur, so I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking I'm not going to run into that issue. First things first. Okay. Now. Already, I don't like how I'm doing this. Oh, I did get one candle. Okay, it's simply called candle. All right. That's the, uh... That must have been... Yeah, that was the fish that I moved here. Wait, what? That's three. I 
I have five of these. You know what? I don't. I don't care. I need to climb up and store my shark. And in a second, I'm going to show you exactly why I did this like I did. Now, even when I... When I eventually put my two candles I'm going to put on either side of the Brachiosaurus, down here is not really going to be easily ex uh, accessible, which is why this uh, warp pipe is here, which is also why I waited so long to do this. I waited until they made a way for me to kind of warp from place to place. I had no idea they were going to actually do that, but I was kind of crossing my fingers and hoping. But when they added the Super Mario stuff to... Um, the Super Mario assets to Animal Crossing. That's when I was like, okay, I'll just add a warp pipe here and a warp pipe behind the shop. Because this warp pipe is kind of hidden and that's, that's the entire thought process. Make it hidden, make it not, make it hidden but accessible. And so I could actually kind of block off that one area. Uh, shit. I forgot to lay down that damn shark. I'm using this because this is a lot easier than going all the way back. I'm going to be using that shark for a YouTube video. But... First I need to see... Before I do that, let me actually sell all these trees very quickly. My goal right now is to get another candle for the Iguanodon. I want to sell, yes. Oh, Nitro, um, if you're still in chat, I do have a little present for you that is within Animal Crossing. I'm going to show you something really quickly. My museum is complete. I have everything in it. Uh, but I also have one... Two... <laughs> this is insane. Three. <laughs> Still counting the Spinosauruses. All the way up to three currently.
four. <laughs> Still going. Five and six full Spinosauruses. Two of which, two of the uh, complete Spinosauruses aren't even on display because of how many I already have on display. <laughs> and one of them's inside the house. So if you want a Spinosaurus uh, fossil, like an intact one, I'm your guy. Oh, I have gone completely apeshit on the fossils. Uh, let's go. Uh, all mounted. Uh, Housewares, wallpaper, flooring, rugs, fashion, creatures, other. I have so many fireworks. <laughs> oh, I have uh, the Smilodon. It's rated as, sa it's called the saber tooth tiger, but the Smilodon is really the saber tooth tiger, scientifically speaking. Uh, I have a Parasaurophilus. Um, oh, I have two of these. I did not realize that. I can actually sell that then. I did not realize I had two of those. All right, I'm gonna see if I can't sell this in the shop. They are getting ready to close. So I have to be like super fast about this. Okay, they can kick me out at any time. So I have to be very, very quick. sold that now I'm going to this is why I think that buying shit should always be available I don't like that whole idea of oh that's a special item you can't rebuy that why I mean I kind of get it for the fossils I understand that portion of it, but they do it for all of the items like flooring and I'm like, why? Why do it for something like a torn shirt? <sighs> okay. And it would be here. Fairly certain it'd be in housewares. Uh, campfire cookware, campfire cot, camping cot, uh, really? Uh, candle. Okay, here we go. Place order. Place order.
Did they get rid of the stupid you can't order X, Y, and Z? Like a uh, limitation? I didn't count how many I actually picked up. All right, I'm going to do, I need a minimum of three. I think I picked up three. Okay. I'm going to time travel forward. Few hours. I'm doing this to protect my ISP. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to plop down all of the candles I need to plop down, then I'm going to talk to all the characters, look for all the fossils. Oh, wait, that, that would be a mistake. Just close the software. That's bad. Mm. There we go. Come on, game. Just load. I normally would have a drink, but I forgot to put them in the fridge. And I still haven't put them in the fridge, so I am without a drink. Sad times. Okay, I'm guaranteed not to have any uh, scorpions spawn because of the time. Let's see what's in my mailbox. Oh, I got the exact amount of candles I need. Good. I'm going to open all the candles I ordered. Now I find out if I actually ordered the right Color candle. Uh, I 
Yeah, I did. I'm doing this first so I don't accidentally sell them. the second one. I still need to ditch those pants. I'm just going to toss them into the sale thing. I don't care about the bells. I couldn't care less at this point. Because so once you have millions of bells, worrying about making enough on them becomes less and less of a concern. Still need the plesiosaurus fossil. Well, at least I don't have to sell anything. Now, since I have all of the underwater sea stuff unlocked, I essentially only go in the sea to get stuff at this point um, for free bells. Because going into the sea means I can catch anything I want and immediately sell it. I almost always get four. Very rarely do I get anything more than that, unless I haven't played for like a few days. Should be one more. Oh, uh, not up there. I didn't feel like dealing with a long walk. Hmm.
Yeah, I should have one more. Cute music player. Yeah, I'm gonna be selling that. My luck, it's probably gonna be somewhere over here near the zoo. Nope, not over there. Thanks, game. I essentially have two animal fossils I'm going after. Uh, the plesiosaurus, and I think it's called the Mega Ser uh, Serios. Uh, assess these fossils. My luck, I'm probably not going to get what I need. I'm just. I don't need to hear what they are. Uh, no. Plesiosaurus skull, that's something I need. Okay. That is... And let me just double check on that. I think that is one of the ones that I need. I'm not going to be rushing off to sell that. Bingo. I think that's like a three-parter. Is I want a full plesiosaurus in my storage. All right, I can sell all that other crap, and then I need to talk to all the characters in my on my island. Sold. deposit this money and then I want to continue to talk to all the characters because if I don't they will try to empty my pockets okay I need to make sure that that's something I can sell Bonus back up to normal. All right. uh. Okay, I can do that. That's fine. Hell broke.
something broken in my inventory and I don't know what it was. a shovel that is bad shovels do not break very easily Is not enough to replace that shovel. Ugh, it's not to do this. Before I do this, switch to. I almost never use the money that's on my in my account during the day. So I am going to be I'm going to be getting stuff at sea, and then as soon as I can replace my shovel, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Shouldn't take too long. Now the reason why I do this for uh, bells instead of hunting for bugs or anything like that is because at night scorpions and spiders regardless of season can't go in the water. So while I'm going after stuff to make bells I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and mosquitoes for some reason don't go anywhere near the water. So all of the big annoyances just does not happen. And unlike hunting for bugs or fishing or anything like that, this doesn't break any tools since the swimsuit can be used indefinitely. In fact, I'd argue you could strip down your entire island of trees just so long as you had a, a swimsuit. It wouldn't be smart to do that, but you could technically do it. At some point, I'm going to... I don't remember what the name of that sea creature is. This is a sea creature that if it pops up for the first of its day, that this, this guy will just want one. And there it is. <laughs> Scallop. <laughs> no, 
Now, I almost, I always give him the item because he's usually willing to give me a pearl in trade or an item that you can't purchase or um, a recipe. Feel this. It's okay to be a couch potato. Just don't be a bed yam. Man, that's just not cool. Consider yourself true. Okay. And he gave us a pearl. Now, the scallop is not worth 10,000 bells. It's just not. But he'll trade a pearl for a scallop. And you can trade a pearl for 10,000 bells. So it is an extremely unfair trade for that character. Um, you can get pearls by diving for them, but they're a very rare item. I've seen them, but very seldom. So that trade is more than worth it. I'm just going to completely fill up my inventory, then I'm going to switch over to Mass Effect after I sell all the items and talk to all the characters. I know this list is getting bigger, but you know, it's... It is the nature of the beast. But because I'm doing this through the sea life, I don't have as many constraints for like tools and having to craft them. I'm kind of skipping the annoying parts of this and just going right to making enough bells to do what I need to do. Repetitive? Yes, but it it would be so much worse without that sea suit. All right, I have I thought it was actually bigger than that, but I only had a glimpse of it before I caught it. Alright, I think that's another octopus. Oh, sea grapes. I should also check to see if either Gulliver or Gulliver is uh, on my island. Two more and then I'm going to start to be nearing having my inventory full. I could have also sold my uh, shovel by mistake. That is also a possibility. But if I did so, that would have been 
stupid mistake, but a very, very fixable one. in between all of the spawns. The instant that you have your favorite deep sea life captured and the instant that you have the all of them donated to the museum is when you stop caring about what you catch over here and just use this as your own personal little bank for uh Okay, those are a pain to catch. <laughs> and they are worth so many bells. This is going to be somewhere in the realm of 30 to 40,000 bells at least. If I get less than 30,000 bells, I'm going to be surprised. I have two items that are at least worth 20k by themselves. And if the remaining items are not worth at least 10 to 20, I'd be kind of surprised. There's another scallop. Now I'd rather do this than what it's required to actually craft shovels. Crafting shovels is so fucking terrible. Because you have to hit on a tree with an axe, get enough wood, get the right types of wood, get enough of the right types of wood, and hitting on a uh, hitting um, a tree with an axe uh, nets you a risk of dropping a wasp's nest, the little honeycomb things, which comes with the wasps, which means that you have to do it with a bug net out and run a little bit and then catch the wasps. And if you're really unlucky, then you have to use a medicine on you if they sting you. And that's... I need a check, because I am now running out of space. Okay, two. I can only catch two more and then I'm done. Good. All right, one more and then I'm done. Finally. Yeah, I'm done. Now here's the reason why I put the warp pipe where I did. for the second one. This is the area where that little fox spawns in for the art. And I wanted my fossils about here and putting them here would actually make this very narrow for going up and down. So rather than have to screw with that in long distances, warp pipe. makes my life so much easier. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep, that's what I thought. At least thirty to forty thousand. It was for forty-five thousand. I am closest without going over. Okay. Oh shit, I actually missed I missed a sea creature. Alright, let me take swimming thing off. I'm going to quickly check to make sure I already have a treadmill in my inventory because if not, that would mean I would have more swimming to do. And the swimming would annoy me. Please let me have the treadmill in here. Uh. Okay. I do have the treadmill. Good. That means I don't need to pour all those bells into that. I can just dump them into my account. Deposit. Full amount. Alrighty. Now I just need to talk to everyone on my island. I already started that. At least for that, I don't have to go anywhere in game and just do that. After this, I have one more small island to uh, talk to people to. Uh... Okay, that is, after this, I have two, four, five, five more people to talk to. It makes it so much easier when they're inside their own house. I 
All right. That technically counted. Now I do this so that my villagers don't leave my island because I really don't want them to leave as of yet. Now one of my villagers I'm eventually going to kick off, but I'm going to wait until I have... Down, loafers, sell. Don't care about that, but also don't want to go back into the island. Okay, I already talked to that character. I already talked to that character. I'm gonna I think there's gonna be one all right That character is going to be floating about. Not literally, but... They're going to be walking about. Now let me... I'll worry about that one last. Cause... Oh boy. That character that's normally... Oh, that makes it easy. Alright, now I'm just down to the last one. Superhero mask. I'm guessing Batman mask was actually copyrighted. Well, I found that character I need to talk to. Now, before something else pops up into this game, I am going to be switching over um, content.
Now I'm going to very quickly switch consoles and I'm going to be updating the stream info so it's going to take me a few seconds to get everything sorted. better if I take that headphones off so I can not fall on my ass. All right, consoles have switched. Let me check something really, really quickly that I did not do last time. Okay, last time I didn't turn off the video for the uh, for the Switch. I have them on two different video sizes because the Switch and the PS4 do not capture equally. There is massive differences within how each one captures. Uh, the Switch will not will actually capture areas of screen where there's no video game so I have to expand that to an insane degree while the PS4 captures damn near perfectly which means I have to do two different video uh, capture scenes for that and if I leave one on then you'll actually see video overlaying on video which you if you're on YouTube, you can actually see the video in my previous Twitch stream. And that is oh so lovely. Now let me go to... Uh... Now, if I did this right, and I'm betting I didn't. Oh, I did. Now, I'm going to go into Journal. 
I now have my favorite weapon in the game, and now I can do all of the side missions I wanted to do. Uh, there's one in particular I'm going to make a leap for. Rogue VI has taken over Alliance Training Ground located on Earth's moon. Okay, this is the one I wanted. Okay, Soul System. Alright. As per usual, I will actually be muting myself uh, and talking only intermittently. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I hate being right. I thought they'd listen. That they'd see. You're an optimist, Skipper. Times like this, I'm glad I'm not. The Council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. I don't care if I have to go to President Huerta. I won't sit back and wait for the Reapers to start killing people. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I... 
want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay, here's what happened. The game started a mission before I wanted to do it. So with that being said, I now have to do what the game wants me to do instead of what I want to do. Uh, I hate it when video games do this. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. No, fuck you. No, no, it's more like this. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And then the game responds with... You, you could, could do, do that, that, but... I'm, I'm going to intervene. intervene. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm saving so I don't have to deal with that again. <sighs> now, for anyone that's curious, the game has of what the codex is now this entire stream i have not hit on the codex once so i think i'm going to uh do that so that it kind of gives you a feel for what this is and i'm gonna mute myself so i don't talk over it In the early... The Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, the Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. You see, it's kind of like an in-game library for all of it but as long as that was i mean seriously look at this Fifth, um that's not a good record there's like multiple for each in this now the longest is probably the um the longest is probably the non uh council races because look at that the vote after this humanity 
I mean, seriously. I'm not going to sit here and play all of this because that would be... That would take an insanely long period of time to do. And I would lose a lot. Now, these aren't voiced. These, but, you know, it's, they're... They tend to be somewhat on the long end. Now, being dyslexic, that would not be fun for me to either read aloud or for anyone to read aloud uh, with me. The, I'm not. I'm not doing that. No. Strange. The Geth are attacking, and everyone around here is still worried about ordinary business. Let them stay ignorant. If our mission reaches the point where these people need to worry about the Geth, we've already lost. There's a fair bit of dialogue that's going to pop up, so I'm muting myself. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? We should, but you're looking for a reason. I disagree. We have a backlog of grievances the aliens have ignored, starting with Shanxi. Were you at Shanxi? If not, shut your pie hole! It's not worth getting angry over, Chief. Right. I read you, Skipper. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again? We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. 
Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Farmer on Election Day, because Terra Farmer remembers you. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. What is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> my assistant wants to bet. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant! Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant, I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll... I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. I would like to know why that was Renegade. I mean, you know, there are worse ways for me to actually go about it. Uh, I essentially use tough love to actually get someone off of drugs. That's not really evil. Okay, uh, granted it's not as 
it's not a uh, uh, it's not a diplomatic response and it's it's really not the best way to go about it but it definitely wasn't the worst <laughs> that fucking dance uh I check something very quickly. I may have already done a mission I'm thinking of. Oh wait, uh, back. Presidium. Citadel Tower. I already scanned all the keepers. This is gonna be on the longer end of the scale. Uh, I want this stream to at least be three or four hours. Uh, most of my stream thus far has been Animal Crossing, and that was not intentional. I just had a lot of shit to do in that game. I believe I have like one more dinosaur and animal crossing to actually put up outside. I have been internally debating about whether or not to take down one of the Spinosaurus fossils. I really have been internally debating that because I don't want to do that, but I also know that space is limited. what you're doing for me please let me know as soon as you find any information on my brother um i don't know if the game's gonna allow me to play after the credits i don't think it will as there's some like uh side mission shit i forgot to do uh well we'll see it likely won't. I know I'm nearing end game, so there's at least one mission I'm not going to be able to finish. Uh, I'd like to finish those sorry writings. Yeah, I did that mission. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Flux. Uh, there is, there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of dialogue, so I have to kind of mute my microphone. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now. 
but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you gonna get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Treaty negotiations between the Alliance and the Solarian Republic have finally concluded. Solarians praised the openness and flexibility of Alliance negotiators in pursuing a deal that benefited both sides. The deal was brokered by new Alliance negotiator Thomas Kent after his mentor Elias Keeler withdrew, citing health reasons. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Get us out of here, Joker. Now!
Okay, the account that I banned was a bot. Uh, that's the entire reason why I banned that account. Bots are definitely not welcome into my channel. Unless I approve them. There are currently two bots in my channel, both of which have approval, so if you're a mod, please don't ban them. Don't ban Streamlabs and Nightbot. They are definitely here with my approval. Huh. Okay, oh, which reminds me. Uh, I did not say my uh, normal thing I say every stream. All my streams are charity streams. Uh, my charity benefits St. Jude, and the said charity is called the Neverending Campaign because if the link ever breaks or fails, I renew it as soon as humanly possible. Ooh, and I don't know if that is up. Let me quickly check that. Okay, my uh, charity is still functional. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to put the charity into the uh, in link into the chat. All money for the charity goes through Tiltify and uh, ultimately through St. Jude. I don't touch a dime of the money that goes to the charity, but bits and subscriptions go to the streamer and not the charity. I don't want anyone to be misled in any shape or form. Now, if I didn't unmute my microphone, that would be... Okay, I did unmute it. Good. That would have been a mouthful to actually repeat. Okay, now... Alright, let's save so that I don't have to do all of that bullshit again. And now I'm going to remute to do what I intended on doing the instant that I switched uh, games. Okay. Uh, hel <laughs> hello, Wooly. I have, um, I'm doing a multi-game uh, stream. I'm on the second game. I'm on m the original Mass Effect, and I have played Animal Crossing for like a good two hours. I'm going to mute myself so that if there's any dialogue, I don't talk over it. Okay, I'm going to quickly check to see if there is anything on here other than the missions. And Wooly, I hope that you're doing well. Okay, there definitely is. Alliance Training Ground. Debris. Let me just zoom in on that. Now, I'm currently trying to actually have a normal 
uh, hold up my normal schedule this week. I don't know how well of a chance that is of happening because I know I have at least one errand that may fuck with my schedule. As much as I don't want that to be the case, I know it is. Why is my vehicle rocking to and fro? Alright, I'm going to mute my microphone just in case. Alrighty, nothing there. Now let's see what... That is a mission state. Okay, I only have the mission to do. Okay, well, it does simplify things for me. And I'm not going to talk over the mission stuff. Yeah. 
Okay. This area, this part of the game is pretty straightforward. After I clear out an area, I need to... Uh, okay, I need to destroy these conduits. I need to st stay back from them or else... Or else I'll get, like, uh, poisoned by toxic fumes. Now, the reason why I took care of those... Uh, rocket launchers outside is because they get way more aggressive after you start knocking out some of these conduits. I'm definitely going to switch to outside now. So yeah, I have, I think three more of those. I think there's there's either three or four of those total. Uh, I can actually, I'm not even going to worry about picking up gear anymore because this is the weapon I'm going to be using from here on in. It's just better that way. I don't have to. All right. One, two. Oh, it's three total. Okay. I don't want to do that again for that area. That that's just really annoying. Uh All clear, Commander. Yeah, except for those enemies that are on my radar. Yeah, all clear except for those. That's bad. No, no, you stay out there. There you go. You see, great, great teamwork. Just, just the best. I'm gonna let to me. I don't let you guys fight all the battles. Uh, I'm so glad I have clips turned off. I am 100% sure someone would have been like coward. Uh. Uh, okay, they put up kinetic barriers. I failed to see how that's going to protect them. I have infinite ammo. 
Now the uh, the goal of this mission is to deactivate a VI that has turned hostile, and it's attack and it's using the security system to attack people. And you essentially deactivate this VI through shooting these uh, conduits, but they've recently put up kinetic barriers. So yeah, it's it's a chore. Yeah, my weapon can overheat, but I but I have infinite ammo, so it's not like I really care. Okay, let me go to squad. I have one more of those to actually... At some point, I'm expecting them to respawn enemies. I still need to leave. I am so wary about holstering my weapon. Okay, that's two down, one to go. Now the last one is always the most difficult one. I'm kind of hoping that this is the right one. Area secured. Yeah, chances are this is. Chances are this is the right one. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them. Okay. To me. I definitely need them to rubber band my location. Huh. Um. Did I go in the wrong one? Uh, that's it's a possibility Okay For the sake of argument, let's just say that I went in the wrong one That's the case. That was an that was a mistake. <laughs> the problem is, is that Let's 
go in this one. This one has to be it. Okay, I can't save. That's... All clear. That's a better sign than the previous one. All targets down. Did the game bug? Is this like not beatable? Did the game like bug on me? That would seriously piss me off if that happened. I think the game bugged on me that I, I don't have to beat this mission to beat the game, but I don't know if that happened. Is that the case? I refuse to believe that I went in the wrong one like twice. There's only three of these labs. Are you fucking kidding me? We're not talking about this. I'm gonna see if I can get these guys to attack each other. <laughs> Relying on my uh, allies' skills seems a little bit questionable. So I'm just going to wait it out and see if I can attack them. Oh. oh man, I think that was just, I think that was a, a very helpful glitch.
break. No, 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 no. Not in the middle of a Form up. Those things were opening doors. That's that's not allowed. Really? I will save scum this. All right. Uh, I'm going to mute myself just in case there's dialogue after this. Okay, I will read this out. A burst of white noise over all frequencies deafens your heart suit's heads up display. Interprets it into uh, zeros and ones. That actually reads out into um, to a message. I can't remember what it is. They repeat again and again, uh, blanketing uh, all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Okay. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talent ranks in your base class. Transfer over to your specialization class to your squad uh, screen view. The bonuses you gain with each rank in your spe specialization class. Okay. Uh, operative or medic. Yeah, let's go with operative. All right, squad. Uh, let's go with. There we go. Area 
area secured. All right. I'm probably going to call it after this mission. I intended to go like a full three hours uh, at least, and I'm probably going to be close to that, like give or take 12 minutes. I can, I am perfectly happy ending a stream 12 minutes early because that's not, that's not like an obscenely long period of time. And I didn't, I started almost on time due to a little few technical issues that weren't my fault. Now, it's because of Twitter. So I've actually defeated this side mission. I wanted to get at least this side mission done and then I got sidetracked in it, which has been the theme for the day. Now I'm going to see if there's anyone live for me to raid. Let's see if there is. I have like a microphone blocking my view of uh, my bookmarks. Uh, uh, Alright, I'm not going to do a raid. Instead, I'm just going to drop a host. And I'm going to be... Let me do this very quickly. So that people don't try and jump in thinking that... Uh, I'm going to continue. Okay, I did mute that tab. Good. I am ending cast. And I'm going to be dropping a host to in game asylum. But prior to leaving, if you didn't do so during the cast and you liked what you saw then I would recommend that you drop a follow and have a nice morning evening noon whatever what have you in your uh, respective time zone <laughs>